Welcome back. Now in Himachal's Lahore Spiti, there is still search going on for people who have been stranded amid the flash floods in that area. Now a helicopter has reached the district to rescue remaining 66 people who have been stranded for the last six days. It's almost been a week now that several people are still stranded. The helicopter was allowed to fly today after two days of weather conditions uh, after two days as weather conditions in fact improved today. Uh, earlier, 178 stranded people were in fact rescued through a ropeway as helicopter could not fly for evacuation. They were stranded in the district after a cloudburst over the Tojing Nalla on Tuesday. In fact, what we saw today was that the chief minister of uh, Himachal Pradesh also conducted an aerial survey in some of the worst hit areas but the main concern for the government still remains the fact that 66 people are still stranded even as rescue operations continue. Uh, let me go across to my colleague Gurpreet for more on this. Gurpreet, what's the latest situation as far as rescue operations are concerned? Well, that, uh, we have seen Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister. He is already uh, taking a stock of the situation from all of India, and uh, he is on the uh, hel uh, helicopter. We can see that uh, on uh, what he is trying to find out because multiple landslides have already been taken place. Now the question is that uh, this uh, aerial view by the Chief Minister was very uh, is very clear that he was trying to understand how, how these roads can be opened for the public, and we know for the last. So many days the continuous rain has already put a lot of damage for the state and a lot of tourists they have already been stuck at the various locations in Himachal Pradesh so that's why today aerial view is being taken by the chief, chief minister of Himachal Pradesh Jairam Thakur to get the details from each and every area so that proper report should be prepared and proper direction should be given to all the deputy commissioners and roads should be opened for the people and how the rescue operation should be continued from the various locations especially that uh, the worst affected area was the whole speedy where we have seen that uh, the people have already been stuck and one in Sirmore where we have seen that uh, a road has already been caved in and after that a lot of uh, uh, problem is being faced by the government. So that's why the Chief Minister has a today aerial, uh, aerial tour to understand that how the things will be uh, made better in the coming days. Um...